CFL Freedom says Chris Greer should be fired now. He's so smart, he built a team that was one concussion away from a disaster. Yeah, that's uh, not a good thing. Not a good thing. It's really more about Tua doing stupid shit. Okay, as much as I love Tua, he's got to learn to be smart, bro. He can't be dumb out there and put his body at risk. You know, but again, the front office and everybody else is counting on the kid. And then he's supposed to do his part like he did last year. And this year he he screwed the front office. He screwed his team. He screwed his fan base. I hope Tua looks at it that way because that's how it needs to be looked at now. It's not about sympathy anymore because he doesn't want your sympathy. He wants to play. So, okay, so we move on. Okay, so now then let's be critical then. Forget about the concussion now. Now let's be critical of Tua and let's say, hey, Tua, dude, you, you, you're screwing your team. You. It's your fault. Nobody else's but your fault, Tua. Right? That's how we have to look at it. We have to blame Tua Tungavailoa for Tua Tungavailoa's injuries. There's nobody else we can blame. There's no sympathy anymore for Tua. There can't be any more sympathy. The team doesn't have any sympathy. The league doesn't have any sympathy. Tua doesn't have any sympathy for himself. He doesn't care about himself. The league doesn't care about him. The team doesn't care about him. All right, we talked about this last week. We're the stupid ones. The fans, oh, my God, oh, pobrecito, oh, poor guy. Well, well, poor guy. He doesn't care. He just wants to, oh, I see two fingers. All right, let me get back out there on the field. Nothing. It's put a Band-Aid on and keep going. There's... He doesn't care about permanent damage. Tua doesn't care about permanent damage. The team doesn't care about permanent damage. The NFL doesn't care about permanent damage. Doctors, as you saw with Josh Allen, they don't care about permanent damage. So why should we care anymore? I, we talked about this last week. We have to like we have to turn the page now with injuries. We have to turn the page now, and we have to be cold and callous just like they are. They're cold and callous. They don't care. You saw the Josh Allen thing. They don't care. And the player doesn't care. So the way I have to look at it now, I have to say it's all on tour. I'm blaming Tua for everything now. If he gets injured, that's his fault. Not, not anybody else's. That's your fault, dude. You held on to the ball. You got injured. You took on a tackler. You got injured. That's your fault, dude. I'm not feeling sorry for you anymore. I'm done with that already. Love the kid, love him as a player. I th I'm, I'm convinced he can play in this game, in this league. But when it comes to his health, why should we care anymore? He doesn't care. So why should we care? No reason. So now I will blame Tua. That's all. And the Dolphins are in this mess because Tua makes bad decisions. Because Tua is because Tua is ignorant against good decisions. I can't help you. I'm not going to say it's a mistake. It's not a mistake. I'm not going to say it was done by accident. No, no, no. You, you had the example last year. You played smart last year, and you lived beautifully. You decided to go back to being stupid, Tua, and guess what happened? You went back to all the injuries again. So I can't I, I can't blame anyone but to a tongue of my law. And zero sympathy. Zero. None.
not a nay. Your fingers want to all crawl up. That's your problem, dude. You want to do this. That's all. All I know is you want to play, we'll stay on the field. If you don't, stop screwing my team over. That's the way I have to look at it. You want to play to it? Play smart. Don't screw my team over anymore. That's the message to Tua. Stop screwing my football team over. You know who you are, right? You're fragile. I'm sorry, did nobody tell you that? You're fragile. So play fragile. That's it. And Dolphins, go draft a quarterback because you have a fragile one. That's all. And I don't know if, if maybe maybe people need to go remind to a he's fragile. Because I don't know. I, I get it. The Yorkie thinks that he's tough, but you're a Yorkie. You weigh three pounds. You're not tough. You may think you're tough, but you're a Yorkie. Tua is a Yorkie, not a pit bull. No. You're not a Rottweiler. No, you're not. You're not a great Dane. Sorry, you're not. You're not. You're a Yorkie. And so, Yorkie, do me a favor, brother. Make good decisions. You're screwing my football team over. That's the way I have to look at it now. The sympathy is completely out the door now. There, there's no more sympathy anymore. I'm done with sympathy. The league, executives, coaches, and players have already shown me, and I'm 58 years old. Now's when I figured it out at 58. There's no reason to be simp. There's no reason to have any sympathy. None. None whatsoever. Unless they died. Unless they end up like a vegetable or paralyzed, then maybe we can, that, that's when we can have some sympathy. But if, you know, you get concussed and you just want to go back in there and because you've been concussed several times and you don't care, why should I care anymore? Don't know why I should care anymore. You know, I'm sorry. You, you want to stay in a sailboat during a hurricane? Bro, knock yourself out, man. Oh, he died. no reason to have any sympathy at all so you know i ha if two is going to be selfish and and put my favorite team's season at risk then i'll be selfish and i won't be sympathy i won't be sympathetic and i'll be saying hey dude you know i don't care that you're injured you you got injured because you wanted to get injured that's your fault you screwed the Dolphins. You screwed your teammates. In fact, when Tua comes back, the first thing he should do is apologize to his team and apologize to the fans. How about that? That's what Tua Tungavailoa needs to do. He needs to apologize to the owner that's paying him a lot of money for not living up to his responsibilities. He needs to apologize to his team for not living up to his responsibilities. He needs to uh, apologize big time to the fans for not living up to his responsibilities. Because by not taking care of himself, he is failing his responsibilities. Isn't that interesting? That's how it needs to be spun. There's no more sympathy. Why should there be? There needs to be blame. That's all. Pointing fingers and blaming Tua. I'm serious about this, by the way. I know I joke around when we have fun blaming Tua for everything, but specifically this, it's all on Tua. Every single bit of it. You want to you wanna know why you're two and three? It's Tua's fault. Nobody else's. Blame Tua for this mess right here. He created this mess. He chose to create this mess. 
he chose to go in this direction because no one in the world would tell Tua run into a defender. Only Tua would be stupid enough to run into a defender because he's done it before coming off of a concussion. But that was even worse. He didn't get concussed, but he actually walked over to the coach and ignorantly said he needed that. So why should I sympathize with that? Should I sympathize with ignorant idiots that think we're, you know, guiding hurricanes to our country? No. I'm not going to sympathize with Tua. I'm not. I don't feel sorry for you, bro. You scrambled your own eggs, dude. You think you're a tough guy. You think you're a football player or some shit. It's like listening to Marino in that commercial. You know, it's funny. Oh, oh let's, re- you know, it's only a commercial. Well, let's return. Yeah. Can you imagine? You weren't a football player then. You're going to return now? Because Marino's not a football player. Peyton Manning's not a football player. Tom Brady's not a football player. And neither is Tua Tonga Vilo. They're just passers. They're just like kickers and punters. They're specialists. They're not football players. Lamar Jackson's a football player. Josh Allen's a football player. They can do other things. They have to. They have no choice, but they're football players. These guys aren't football players. They're passers. So that's that's the real deal. That's what's going on with Tua Tunga Bailoa. Okay? That's how it needs to be viewed from here on out. It's his irresponsibilities that are holding the Dolphins back. He's the one that chooses to hold on to the ball too long. He's the one that chooses to take on tacklers. Not anybody else. So blame only Tua for what's going on here. Because we we know Mike McDaniel's useless. We're, We're watching it. Okay? The guy's not a good coach. He can't coach. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.